think the reawakening of social justice concerns in the Catholic Church speaks to a paradigm shift, something like we saw in, particularly in Latin America with the Catholic Church there um, and their focus on liberation. Together. There's a good test of this. In 1962, with Vatican II, Pope John XXIII introduced a very substantial paradigm shift. He tried to restore the Gospels to the Church. They'd been essentially eliminated, except in form, since the fourth century, when the Roman Empire took over Christianity as its uh, official religion. Yeah. Uh, this was a major change, and it was picked up in Latin America, as you say. It became what was called liberation theology. Uh, priests, uh, nuns, lay people went out and talked to peasants, uh, set up groups in which a group of peasants would read the Gospels, think about their radical pacifist message. Um, there's a reason why Christians were persecuted the first three centuries. Gospels are radical, is a radical text. It's a basically radical pacifism with its preferential option for the poor. They tried to restore it. And what happened? Well, the U.S. went to war, fought a bitter, brutal, violent war against the church. If we had free press, that's the way they'd present it. Uh, it started with uh, whole, you know, a whole long list of religious martyrs. There's a, another photograph up in the painting up there which depicts them. Uh, 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 overthrow of governments, institution of uh, neo-Nazi style dictatorships, major war against the church which ended in, sort of, in 1989 with the assassination of uh, six leading Jesuit intellectuals uh, by a, what we should call a terrorist group, a U.S.-backed, uh, U.S.-trained, U.S.-armed battalion in El Salvador, which had just come from uh, renewed training at the Kennedy School of Counterinsurgency Warfare, acting on official orders of the Salvadoran command very close to the U.S. Embassy. I don't have to attribute this to the government. It accepts this. Mm -hmm. uh, the School of the Americas, which trains Latin American officers, killers, basically, uh, one of its talking points is that the U.S. Army helped defeat liberation theology. Okay, that's what happened when the church tried to return to the Gospels. It's not happening now. And the reason is that so far nothing much is happening. Uh, what's happening is, you know, I like the fact that the tone has shifted. There's more, more better words about social justice, but we have to see if it crosses the point where it leads to, say, organizing people to insist on their rights and to uh, pursue the path of preferential option for the poor, take the gospel seriously. If it gets to that point, uh, then I think we'd see the same reaction.